Warning, this podcast contains spoilers. Warning, this podcast contains spoilers. Let's go watch it in 2D. No, let's go watch it in 3D. But if we watch it in 3D, then is it worth the cost? Where's the jungle? Welcome to Jumanji. What is that? This time, not all of you will make it out alive. I'm not it. I don't want to be it. Look out! The game is busted! Oh! Awesome! Are we in Florida? What the hell was that? That was a touchy nose pop. That's messed up. Jumanji, the next level. Hello, hello, hello. This is Adolf. I have with me Jake. Howdy, folks. And today we're doing the spoiler cast for Jumanji The Next Level. Warning, this podcast contains spoilers. Warning, this podcast contains spoilers. So, I watched this in 2D. Jake, you reviewed it and watched it in 3D. Um, what spoilerific stuff do you want to talk about in 3D Element? I'm trying to think. Uh... Well, a lot of the um, the effects, like in the uh, when they uh, change, when they discover uh, a body of water that they can jump into and change their avatars, uh, looks really good in 3D. You know the the visual effects and then getting out of the water, because uh, one of the great funs of this is um, our uh, our our various characters get to change their avatars and i mean we know from the trailers that uh because it's not a spoiler if it's in the trailer by our rules uh that uh danny devito and um danny glover uh enter the avatars you know of um kevin hart's uh jungle explorer character and uh the and the rocks um um smoldering character and there's a lot of humor in that that don't even need the 3D element for to laugh at that. But so I didn't watch it in 3D, but I was thinking that the scene with all the uh, monkeys on the bridges on the, would, would be fun in 3D because just you know the depth and stuff. How was that in 3D? Yeah, that was really good, especially the swaying bridge. They had some great angles on it. Uh, I mean, this movie was was filled. It's like they really learned from the first one and and ratcheted up a notch. Um, and then, oh, yeah, and then, of course, the kind of the mid-credit scene, which is a big spoiler, uh, when you see the animal, when you see Jumanji enter the real world. So, yeah, we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, you know, I I did like how they changed up the characters and had, you know, Rock be Danny DeVito and... Um, how they had um, Danny Glover be um, Kevin Hart, yeah, and oh, and Kevin Hart is well known for his rapid fire delivery, you know, motor mouth, and him playing that laid back because Danny De- um, Danny Glover's character is playing this old grandpa who takes forever to get to the point. Which I related to very well. <laughs> you know, I guess I'm getting old, folks. Uh, but Kevin Hart nailed it. Just that slow mo. Oh my God, it was hysterical. Yeah, I really love that too. And um, I wasn't expecting. You know, the, we saw the horse in the final trailer, but like the mm-hmm. horse in the movie is a little more interesting than you originally thought because you're like, okay, what are you going to do with this horse? And then. Apparently, you could fly. I was like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. First, it's Bethany, and then it becomes uh, Danny um, Glover, and then it can fly. <laughs> and yeah, the wings look awesome in 3D. Oh, okay. I wasn't wondering about that. And then Danny Glover decides to stay in the game to be the horse. I was like, what the hell is going on? Well, well, he's got cancer, so <laughs> I guess he figured out the video game. Um, He's got three lives, which is probably better than he's got in um in the real world. So I guess like his family just not gonna know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, but also the uh, the end, 
that Jumanji comes to Earth, so he's probably now back in the real world, but he might be a horse. That's a good point. That's a good point. Mm-hmm. Now, like, or, uh, or something that, or it could be really awesome. It could have malfunctioned, and he's Danny Glover, but he's got wings. Whatever, you know. <laughs> that would be funny too. Yeah. Um, and then just the ending with uh, how that like, they were in the, um, I guess like a trying to eat dinner in this hallway or something, and then they just like turned on nunchuck mode and just like kicked everyone's butt. I thought it was just so much fun. Yeah, the best. Uh, yeah, this is yeah, this is def uh, definitely become a franchise, and it's also a really good gaming movie. Uh, and it's and it's written in such a way that if you're not a hardcore gamer, because um, most of the people I know who who went to see this on my recommendation from the first one weren't hardcore gamers, uh, and they had no trouble uh, following either of these movies because it really spells out things enough doesn't it's not like so much exposition that your eyes roll and stops the movie it just flows and it explains it well enough that you don't have to be a hardcore gamer to understand what's going on oh and i loved um aquafina as like the ninja woman she was cool uh, mm-hmm. yeah this was like aquafina's year i mean she's had you know between um the farewell and this i mean yeah she was doing great and she was awesome in this um i love how the rock was just like kissing that woman over and over again <laughs> <laughs> yeah the, the rock is a really good comedian he doesn't get his uh, due i mean he's developing into a good actor with great comic timing um he really has become this generation schwarzenegger mm-hmm, yeah the same funny quips and uh and like like folks if you haven't seen rampage check it out especially in 3d it's uh it's a little raunchier than this but it's a load of it's loads of fun so yeah the rock i just gotta you know say continue on that because you know at first schwarzenegger was really known for his action movies and then he did his comedy spits in the movies and then he did his comedies and it, they're fun and they're, they're you know dumb but it's fun dumb and yeah the rock is doing that exact same template and he's great in comedy he's great in action yeah i, I really like the rock a lot mm-hmm. yeah i mean i'd almost i was joking with somebody the other day i said they should reboot the mummy series but have the rock in the brendan fraser role <laughs> yeah so it, it, you know, it's spoiler cast. Um, it's just, it's kind of hard to really spoil anything because it just, you know, random things kind of happen here. And, you know, you get to see all the kids come back and not all the kids go back into the game. Um, you know, this whole re- uh, romantic relationship from the first movie, it's not continued in the second movie. But then you understand why. And I, I get it. You know, they moved apart and all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's a worthy sequel. I mean... It actually, I I slightly prefer the first one in some ways. And then in some ways, I like this one more. I mean, it's yeah, it, you could say, you could argue it's more of the same, but uh, damn, it's so entertaining and charming and lots of fun, and the three D is great. Yeah, um, you know, I can understand why Spencer wanted to be part of the game, and he doesn't measure up to how the game was because he was, you know the rock in that game um and he's not that way but it, how they do things here it just it's a really good it feels like a, a really smart way to continue the story and not you know i'm glad that the third one is you know going to be like a traditional jumanji because i don't think they could have done a third one the same format you know yeah i like that they're they're moving it into the real world and now i'm wondering are we going to have uh is it going to be just the game comes into the real world or is it going to be Fortnite where you have multiple players and or a or a Fallout uh, 76 type of situation you know is this going to be uh, a LARP and you're going to have multiple uh, avatars running around multiple players playing the same avatars that they custom 
dress them in different ways. That's an interesting idea. Yeah, because you don't want to just be, you know, a reboot of the original Jumanji. This is going to be the fourth one. So how do you make it different? You know, and I think that would be a really interesting way of doing it. Yeah, don't follow too close to the first one. I mean, it's too... I'm uh, not a big fan of the original because uh, I just thought it was too dark. It just went too dark. So, yeah, and the whole NPC stuff, that could be fun in real life more so now than, you know, if you know in your game. And, you know, maybe you don't know if people have lives. And you could do a lot of stuff for there. And I think it'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. And you could have uh, multiple avatar. Could you see, like, three or four Kevin Hart's fighting with each other? Yeah, that would be a fun way of doing it. You know, uh-huh. have them all dressed different because they're different players have customized them differently. I think you got a great idea here, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is where I would go. I mean, I've played enough games. This is where I would go with it. And I mean, Sony's... I'm not the hardest of hardcore gamers, but still. Yeah, Sony's doing it. They know games. so um, Yeah. I... Yeah, and I like all the whole cast here. Um, you know, they could have more characters and stuff in the, in the third one, and you know, they don't have to have Dan DeVito come back. I'm fine them not having him back. You know, that gag is, is run its course. So, but I do like the main, you know, foursome or whatever that are mm-hmm. there. Yeah. Yeah. And it was nice. They had Colin Hanks back as their, as their friend who's, who was caught in the game. Yeah. So yeah, Jumanji, the next level was a lot of fun and, you know, I did not go into this, you know, 100% knowing what to do. You know, I, I knew because, you know, we, we did a review together already for the orig- before, but I was still able to enjoy it, even knowing a lot of things are going to kind of happen. And, um, you know, it's just, it's for me, I could totally allow my brain to just shut off and have fun here. You know, and lots of people didn't like how um dan devito is portrayed which i don't agree with i think it's fine i think it's all for fun you know same thing with glover it's all for fun and it works mm-hmm. yeah yeah i mean it's it's kind of probably more hilarious for younger generations who have to deal with have to go okay boomer yeah so i guess that's basically it for this podcast do you have anything else you want to mention jake yeah, try to see this in 3D if you can, because it's it's worth the uh, the effects are worth it, really worth it. And um, you might not want to get popcorn because I got popcorn and it was kind of hard to eat it because I was laughing so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they need to start putting tops on popcorn. So, but yeah, definitely recommend it. Um, I was, I'll probably give it. The same score you did, eight, which is fine. Um, you know, I, I thought it was a great movie, a lot of fun, and um, the kind of thing I would watch again. I wouldn't want to buy it, but I would watch it again if it's on TV. I'm like, yeah, I'll watch that again. You know. All right, I guess that's it for us. Okay, before this podcast wraps up, I want to thank my patrons. Thank you, David and Mr. Bengal Five, for your financial support on Patreon.com. So that's going to be it for this podcast. You can find us, 3 dr 2 com on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and so much more. Just look for 3D or 2D. You can also send us your listener mail. Our email address is email 3 d or 2 d at gmail.com. Links are in the description. Thank you for listening and or watching. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Bye, everyone.